You're watching the Red Pilot Podcasting Network. Welcome to Small Town Celebrities. This week's episode is sponsored by Red Pilot Productions. Hey everyone, welcome back for episode two of Small Town Celebrities, sponsored by Red Pilot Productions. Fabulous Green Bay, Wisconsin is its location. And special sponsor this week, Topper's Pizza. You can learn more about them at www.toppers.com. They have 21 locations located around Wisconsin. They're open late, the pizza's fantastic. Why not give them a shot? It's worth it. Anyway, this week we are interviewing the band Midnight Epidemic. They are a rock slash alternative band from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. I recently actually was able to join them as the band's drummer since well, they, they'll give you the backstory on that one. But anyway, let's have a word from our sponsor, old, good old Toppers, and then uh, we'll talk to Midnight Epidemic and we'll see what happens. So. That's some good Toppers. Toppers is good. <laughs> So here today I am with, well actually it's tonight, but um, I'm with the band Midnight Epidemic. They just got done playing a show over at Surf City in Oshkosh. And so we have all the band members here today and we're going to ask them a couple questions just to see how everything goes. So tell me about the history of Midnight Epidemic. History of Midnight Epidemic. There's so much! Um, we started out as a band in 2007. It was my freshman year in high school, and it was the second semester. There was a lunch table with a bunch of kids, and this guy was like, I'm looking for people for a band. And his name was Stephen Craze. Stephen Craze actually talked to me on MySpace, yeah. It was back when people used MySpace still. Um, and he saw some lyrics that I had posted, and he's like, hey, you write lyrics pretty well. Can you do anything in a band? I could not. <laughs> But I said yes. He's like, I need someone who can play guitar. I didn't know how to play guitar. I was like, I can play guitar. No problem. I got better over the years. I hit an anti-puberty. I used to sing really low, and now I sing higher. So uh, I think it's worked out pretty well. Nick Zaleski was at practice, and then he also had Sam Boyle, who was our original drummer. I joined, I think, the summer after my freshman year, uh, so the summer after the rest of the band's sophomore year, because I'm a year younger. So that we just started practicing, 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 went through a whole bunch of band member changes, like, so many. I sang, so I was like, okay, I play guitar too, and I was absolutely horrible at guitar. Uh, so I, I came to be the singer, but uh, then I kind of realized I don't like singing like by myself in front of people. I hate it. There's a whole bunch of stuff that happened before I joined the band. Eventually, we got to the, the lineup we are at right now, minus Nikovaka. We have a different drummer. That's when we started getting good and started writing. We recorded our album, and then we started playing a bunch of shows. Then our drummer left for the army, and Nick decided to jump on board. And that's where we find ourselves today, playing shows and stuff, you know, having fun. How have you guys gained notoriety over the years? Pretty much we play any show we can, no matter how far away it is, or if we get paid or not. Notoriety can be described in very different things. You can have like notoriety like people talking about you, or notoriety like people knowing about you. We, we sell our CDs at pretty much every show so that people can say, hey, I heard this band and you should hear them too. We go play in Milwaukee, Oshkosh, Appleton. We go all over the place for no, like to get known. We've been doing social media, we've been doing Facebook and Twitter, we've been doing it word of mouth, we've been hanging up flyers. We do a lot of advertising on Facebook. I mean, if any of us even hears about a show, we are like, hey, we can play. I think the CD is a lot of how we gain notoriety, um, just because otherwise people don't really hear about local bands very often. So you guys recorded an album called Action and Consequence. 
Uh, where was that recorded and what was the process like? It was fantastic. Uh, we recorded at Full Spectrum Studios in Fond du Lac and it was one of the coolest places I think I've ever been. It's right here. This is it. It was really fun. We went for three days into a studio and uh, it's, it's kind of an experience like no other. You kind of only see about, like, you know, read about it, see it in like bonus feature DVDs and stuff for your favorite band. You get to go into the studio like that. It's just one of those unforgettable things. Uh, big pointy foam walls just looking at you all the time. I liked it. But I found it very fun and uh, you learn a lot too. Uh, yeah, it was, it was awesome. It was absolutely a blast. Um, I mean, you know, some, some parts, like repeating the same part that you've been playing for half an hour can get a little tedious, but all in all, it was one of the most interesting, certainly interesting, and fun experience of my life. That was a great time, yeah. Um, as a band, what's your favorite country? Uh, what's the country that's right above us? Uh, Canada. Yeah, Canada. Canada. Canada! Canada. Canada! <laughs> So at all the shows, we've heard some new material that wasn't on this album. Um, are you guys working on a new album altogether? Are they just a couple new songs? Or what's going on there? We're actually in the works of planning it out. So we've got most of the songs um, ready or being written still. But yeah, we're definitely looking into uh, recording a new record pretty soon. It's a concept album with its own idea. You know, it's got like a plot line, stuff that the songs follow. As for new songs, I've been a part of the I've been a part of the new songs 100. percent Our new songs are are all like they've got the same kind of feeling, like tone. Uh, I like them in general more than the old stuff. Uh, like especially one of our new songs is just probably my favorite song that we're doing. So just you know that our new stuff I think is better. Uh, so yeah, we're all getting a lot better at our. <coughs> instruments, stage presence, and our abilities as musicians. Hopefully this winter, this summer, something like that, we're hoping to get signed to a label beforehand, but if it doesn't happen, we're going to go the no effects road and do a DIY, so that'll be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for it. I always get overly excited way too far in advance, so I've planned out like the whole thing. Um, but yeah, yeah, we're looking into it for sure. This is the last question I have time for. Um, where do you see Midnight Epidemic going in the future, and what do you think the future holds for the band? Definitely a lot more shows, um, and I'm really looking forward to recording another album, because the stuff we've got now is like, here's our old stuff, and here's our new stuff. Or maybe there. You can't even see it anymore. We have big plans, and even bigger ambition to reach our goals. So. We're, we're shooting, we're shooting for tours and getting signed and all that. I mean, the same thing any other band really wants. I mean, we just we really feel we can achieve that with the people we have and the songs we're writing. We really think we can, you know, reach out and take what we want. We're getting better, and we're going to get even better. We hope to get the attention of a label at some point, uh, and you know, we can only do that by getting our name out there. So hopefully to a label, <laughs> but you know, we'll see. I'd love to see Midnight Epidemic go global. I mean, with my drumming and Nick and Noah's singing, and Noah's guitar ability, and Caleb's guitar ability, Jake's bassing, and everyone's playing ability is astounding for a local band. I think it's really incredible, and I'd love to see Midnight just do something really incredible. Where do you see Midnight Epidemic going in the future? All of them. Getting our name out there our own way. And if we do it correctly, then I foresee we can go very far. And there you have it, folks. That's the story behind Midnight Epidemic, rock alternative band from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Keep up to date with our Facebook page for latest concert information, album information, behind the scenes, exclusive stuff you're not going to see anywhere else, except for possibly the Red Pilot Podcasting Network. And if you're interested in their album, Action and Consequence, you can download it online for as little as $6, or if you come up to a show, you can pick it up for, I think it's only $10, so it's not bad. Either way, you're getting some great music from local musicians, supporting your local artists, and great time. But until then, this is all the time I have for this week, so I'm Nick Robotka, and I'm signing off. <laughs>